Hi there, my name is Andrew Miller. I'm a visitor host here at the Museum of London and in this new video series, London's Queer Objects, I'm going to be taking you through some of the museum galleries and looking at some of the queer representation from the annals of London's history. So, where better to start than in London's earliest days? Uh, London was founded by the Roman Empire as the city of Londinium. Uh, it was a beacon of Roman cultural integrity for the north of Europe. And very few emperors left their mark on Britain quite like Emperor Hadrian, seen here. Uh, this is a replica bust from a rare seven foot tall bronze statue of Hadrian that held a place of pride in the city of Londinium for many, many years after his reign. Here in the Roman Gallery at the Museum of London, Hadrian overlooks our display of the Roman Forum in the centre of the city. Uh, this is really appropriate. It was actually Hadrian who commissioned to extend the Forum out to include its southern courtyard, which would mark it as the largest forum the Romans ever built north of the Alps. But Hadrian's uh, works were not confined to Britain alone. Throughout his 21-year reign, Hadrian would tour his empire extensively, instituting new building works and infrastructural reforms to improve life and stability in the Roman provinces. And for several years of that reign, he was accompanied by a young Greek man named Antonus. Uh, Antonus served as a hunting companion, as a soldier, a friend, and indeed, as a lover to the emperor for five years. The relationship between the pair seems to have reached a kind of celebrity status in many areas of the empire, uh, with idols and depictions of the two springing up all over the place. Um, this kind of sexual relationship between two men was uh, completely common in Roman society. Actually, Hadrian uh, was a Hellenist. He was a lover of classical Greek culture. Uh, and one of the parts or aspects of that culture that he really endorsed was this notion that love between two men uh, was the noblest and purest kind of love that could be achieved. But sadly, the couple's time together wouldn't last very long. Seven years after they met in 130 AD, Antonus would drown in the River Nile in Egypt, and Hadrian was reportedly heartbroken when he found out. Hadrian would then deify Antonus as a god, and many different mm -hmm. idols and shrines dedicated to Antonus would spring up first in the north of Africa, but then spread throughout the Roman Empire, and his worship became very, very popular. And amazingly, this wouldn't be the end of Hadrian's attempts to commemorate his young lover. Uh, in the centre of the Egyptian province of Rome, a new city would be commissioned by Hadrian. Uh, it was the temple city of Antonopolis, uh, the city of Antonis. Uh, and it would be said at its height to rival Alexandria in wealth and glory and prestige. Now, the ruins of this once great city could still be seen well into the 18th century. It wasn't actually until the 19th century that the ruins of the city would vanish completely, uh, its building material used uh, for other construction projects. If you would like to hear more about the incredible story of Hadrian and Antonis and many other stories like it, please do check out the Museum of London's website and sign on to one of our Queer City tours. And do stay tuned for the rest of this video series, London's Queer Objects.